Hey, hey, hey. Washington to attack the painted area has been big time here in the second half. And Koulibaly comes back now for three. 22 on the night for the second year French Phenom. All right, Joel, so a lot of NBA fans probably know who Victor Wembanyama is. He was the first overall pick from two drafts ago after playing in France for the Mets 92 team. Obviously, outstanding player, outstanding young prospect. A lot of people saying he's going to be the future face of the league. But what a lot of NBA fans might not know is he actually had a teammate, another NBA prospect on that Mets 92 team in France, who was drafted just six spots after Wembenyama, and if you know who I'm talking about, it's Bilal Koulibaly, who ended up going to the Washington Wizards, which probably a big reason why a lot of people might not have heard of him. But after a relatively quiet rookie season where Koulibaly averaged just eight points, four rebounds, and a steal a game, he is slowly breaking out in year two and establishing himself as one of the core pieces of this young Wizards uh, franchise. So far through these first four games, he's up to over 18 points per game, almost six rebounds, three assists, and one and a half steals per game while knocking down 42% of his threes on almost five attempts a night. Most notably, the Wizards just had back-to-back -back games against the Atlanta Hawks where Koulibaly made headlines because he held Trey Young scoreless when they were matched up and just overall was a big reason why the Wizards were able to win that game. He then followed it up with another great performance where, you know, the defense wasn't as perfect as it was in the first game, but offensively, he dropped a career-high 27 points, was getting to the rim, hitting threes, all the things you love to see from a young prospect like Bilal Koulibaly. So what is it about Koulibaly that has Wizards fans excited for his future? Well, as I just mentioned, he is a 6'6 wing with a huge wingspan, he's only 20 years old, and he's already shown really good uh, skills on the defensive side of the ball. He's tremendous at moving his feet out on the perimeter, a great point of attack defender. He is almost impossible to set good screens on just because of how quick he is with his feet. He's also got the quickness to jump passing lanes while having the IQ to know where to be at what point. For example, these two very small plays that will never set foot in a box score stood out to me where obviously Trey Young is known for his uh, you know, gratuitous flopping tendencies to get to the foul line or just draw easy fouls on his opponents, especially after ball screens. So for Bilal at the ripe age of 20 years old to understand this and play great defense to the point that he's able to avoid these, you know, jump back into the defender fouls that Trey tries to get, just absolutely tremendous stuff on the tape. Plus, Bilal is also a great rim protector as well. He'll never be a first line of defense kind of guy, that's the reason why the Wizards drafted Alex Sar, but as a secondary rim protector or just weak side help protector in general, Koulibaly is tremendous at just disrupting plays, and I love that on occasion he'll literally just appear out of nowhere, it feels like, and just fully blow up a play defensively and that's always a fun thing to watch. As for the offensive side of the ball, I think Bilal's best trait is definitely getting to the rim. He's actually got some pretty decent ball skills, uh, you know, handling wise. Also, because he's such a great athlete, it's, you know, obviously he's going to be a great transition basketball player. Anytime he gets out onto the break, it is easy points for him or someone on his team. Another facet of offense that he is great at using his athleticism for is crashing the offensive glass, which I feel like has become a bit of a lost art in the NBA, but it's slowly making a comeback with a lot more of these traditional centers, I feel like are ones that are bringing it back. So to see someone like Bilal Koulibaly have a similar mindset is also just tremendous. Even just rebounding the ball in general, I loved this one play where he uh, grabbed the defensive rebound and immediately pushed it up the court, went coast to coast, and drew some fouls. I think that's a great example of what a potential, you know, future evolved Bilal Koulibaly could be. Someone that can use his hustle and athleticism to just break games open and, you know, just get easy buckets for his team. And as I mentioned at the top of the video, so far this season, obviously small sample size, but he is at 42% from three now almost all of these attempts are catch and shoot opportunities and this was a big uh pressure point for him this offseason was improving his shot so that he can 
be on the court and always be useful on the offensive side of the ball you know rather than letting the defense sag off and play more help they actually have to account for him especially if he's sitting in a corner and you can definitely tell that he's been making improvements with the jump shot he's not afraid to shoot anymore he is shooting more confidently this season so far but if I did have to nitpick one just tiny little thing, it, it takes him a while to get the shot up. There was one one specific possession where it, it felt like he was loading a gun like he was in the Revolutionary War trying to get the attempt off. But I definitely think it's something that can be fixed. Because even just a few quarters later in this game, he had one catch and shoot three that looked really smooth. Just instinctually got it up quicker. And the shot looked good. So again, I, I definitely think there's a future for him to improve the quickness, improve the release, and ultimately become a reliable three-point shooter. You know, nothing crazy, but reliable. All in all, Koulibaly has flown under the radar for the most part. One, because he was a teammate of Victor Wembanyama, who stole a lot of the you know popularity from that draft class. And two, because he's playing for the Washington Wizards, who... You know, last season were so bad that it was pretty much impossible to watch them. But so far this season, they are scrappy enough and fun enough that I don't feel like I am punishing myself for watching a Wizards game. And some of the guys that help that case out are the uh, Washington Wizards rookies, one being Bub Carrington. He's just an absolute dog. I love his demeanor on the court. He is always playing physical, low-key a great rebounder. Uh, but in this game specifically, I noticed that he is a great driver of the basketball, has a great handle, seems really comfortable in the pick and roll, had some really nice drive and kick opportunities. And he also had some pretty nice buckets. One was a nice pull up three off the ball screen and you know, I know he's not trying to force it, obviously, with him being a rookie trying to learn about the NBA, but I would love to see him let loose a little bit, you know, maybe later in the season once, you know, rotations get depleted because of some injuries or whatever, but yeah, I'm really excited to see what Bob Carrington turns into because so far he's shown a whole bunch of different skills that I think when unleashed, he could be a very solid player down the line. And of course, there's Alex Saar. I made a video about him from the Summer League a couple months ago ago but I still have my real estate on Sar Island. I know he got a lot of hate uh, around the summer league because of his offensive performance. And listen, the offense still is not great, uh, but he is showing flashes still. Had a couple of catch and shoot threes in this game. Also had a nice little ISO kind of fading midi that he knocked down. So again, there's still hope that there will be something offensively at some point. But obviously, the main draw to Sar is his defense, and he showed why in this game specifically. Had four blocks, had a steal, and he's just such a freak athlete on the defensive side of the ball. Tremendous rim protector. But I will say, if you are looking for me to speak more on Alex Sar, just go back and watch that video from a few months ago. I'd appreciate it. I go more in depth, obviously. And then I didn't clip anything of him, but even Keyshawn George has been a nice surprise for them. He's another rookie who got the start for the injured Kyle Kuzma in this game, and he's been solid. He, he gets some nice steals, plays some uh, solid um, off-ball defense. He, he was kind of getting cooked by Trey, but you know that's not necessarily a red flag or anything. But he can knock down the three ball too, had a couple of threes in this game. Nice guy that can also drive and kick as well. He seems like he's going to be a solid player. And then lastly, gotta shout out my dog, Corey Kispert, just a tremendous role player that can knock down threes, move the ball, play defense. Also had one of his patented backdoor cuts for a layup that he, it's pretty much just a staple of his game by now. But yeah, overall, the Washington Wizards are 2-2, two and two, sitting at 500 after four games, which I, I don't think many people would have guessed. With that being said, I don't think many people are now expecting them to be a good basketball team by any means they will probably still finish bottom of the Eastern Conference as they are uh, trying to capture the flag. But at the very least, you know, through a week and so of the NBA season, I think it's safe to say that the Washington Wizards are at least going to be watchable this year. They have a whole lot of young talent who is getting the majority of the minutes on this team, which is always a fun thing to see. And at the head of it is Bilal Koulibaly. I don't want to get too ahead of myself and say that he'll be like an all-NBA level guy, but I wouldn't be surprised if he captures a few all-star nods at some point in his career. And I was just about to wrap the video up, but I also just realized that I forgot to mention Jordan Poole, who's also been playing some really solid basketball 
actually being a leader for this team, a veteran in the locker room, something that other vets who are starting on this team can't say the same thing about so shout out jordan pool he's hitting threes he's getting steals he's just fun to watch too that's all i got for this one as always if you enjoyed make sure to like comment subscribe all those good things and i'll see y'all in the next one